Hello there. Welcome to Withering Room's Early Access. So yes, we're playing an Early Access game today. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, okay. Withering Rooms. Um, I This popped up randomly, I think, on Twitter, and I thought, that looks interesting. It's in Early Access, so some of the things you're seeing here might not be representative of the final game. Mostyn Gatehouse, 1892, in a dream. Nightingale is sent to Mons Mostyn Private Asylum by her father. New patients must spend their first night at the, in the gatehouse for observation. It is there that Nightingale first awakens in a dream. Now, the name Mostyn's interesting because I'm from North Wales. I grew up in North Wales, and there's a place called Mostyn there. And there's also a place in North Wales that has a, a, a big asylum in it called uh, Denby, which isn't the same as Mostyn, but... Uh, you know, I wonder if I wonder if it's somewhat inspired by that area. Uh, some furniture can be interacted with. So yeah, last time I think it's been a while since I've recorded a game on this channel. The last time I played, I think I was having a lot of controller drift issues, which I wasn't sure if it was the game or the, my controller. But then it slowly started getting worse and worse and happening in other games. So I've changed out my controller for a random one I found in the back of a cupboard. And uh, this one's a bit dodgy as well. There's a reason why I hid it away in the cupboard. It's, there's, some of the buttons are a bit sticky. I don't know. Like, like they, you know, when you press them in, they don't pop up quite quite as quick as you'd want them to. A curious coin with a cross. It's not clear what metal it's made from. Has a subtle iron scent. Who needs money in a dream? As the weeks dragged on, and my own motivation to help the guest play out in their fancies wanes. Uh, whatever. I can't. I can't read. I can't read. So yeah, I can duck and no tools. I can oh, do a little backwards jump on a roll. Oh, so it's I'm guessing it's going to be kind of Souls-like. I'm I'm really liking the um, the look of this, like the side scrolling. This kind of makes me feel like it's kind of like a an old, you know, like the old is it called Maniac Mansion or something like that? It reminds me of that sort of look. Can I open from this side? Okay. Is there a is there a way to run? That'd be nice. Oh yes, there we go. Okay, good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, a toilet, there we go. Toilet. It's a it's a horror game, everyone. A corpse in a cage. It's blocking a hole in the wall. Oh, lovely. Okay, good. Some... Oh! Oh! Uh oh Yeah, that's not a corpse. Some furniture can be used to hide. When close, press Y to hide. Um... Yeah, I don't know about this thing. It's... Oh, like that. I see. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Graphics are a bit... I, I, I don't know. My computer's not the best, so I don't know whether the graphics look better on it. He's off. All right, anyway. See you later. Crouches L. L. Oh, down an L. I see. Okay. Uh -huh. And you can sneak around to be quiet. Let me see if... Uh... I was going to see if I could change the graphics settings, see if there was any other options for it. Uh, there's a keyhole on the front of the clock, okay. Read special placement lock. Millie Elwood, age 13, symptoms, pending epilepsy, inappropriate behaviour. Emma Benyon, age 14, fires and inappropriate behaviour. Oh, there's us, Nightingale Williams, age 15, systems pending. So I don't quite know what's wrong with us. So. There's a weird, like... Uh, yeah, that's all right. I think it must be a problem with this controller I've got as well. Like, I, I'm just having endless problems with controllers. No, I noticed now and then when I stopped moving, she suddenly ducks. And I was playing a game on a stream, and I was having exactly the same problem. My character would keep ducking when I didn't want them to. Okay, press Y near doors to silently peek through them. Okay. 
I guess I guess that's safe. That's quite cool. Oh no, don't go back in there. Uh There we go, close the door. Close the door so you don't go in back in there. Ah, look, I see something there. Yeah. Yeah, I see I see you under that under that thing. I mean, maybe it's just Oh, I don't like the look of that guy. Okay, his back was turned, okay. See ya. Hope he didn't see me. Oh yeah, hi yeah. I see that key in your back. Where am I? Uh, look, he's got like a trap on his on his leg. Okay. Oh, so it's definitely, it must be in Wales because of the name there. David's mind is literally decaying, but he can still be of use. To keep him from wandering the grounds, I've locked the gatehouse door. I've nailed the spare key into his back in case you need it. Oh, okay. You'll have to be sneaky. I thought that was like, you know, when you get wind-up toys and they've got keys in their backs. You'll have to be sneaky. As an additional safeguard, I've cast a spell on the front garden of the mansion. No undead may pass through if you're out there. Check for the glowing white sigil above the doorway to make sure it's still working. Oh, I can change the typeface. That was I, I thought like it, it might be a bit difficult to read some of those letters. That's that's, uh, that's interesting. I like, I like that they've added, added that feature in. So I'm going to try and sneak up on this guy and get the key. Uh, Lord Mustin. So it, it's not the place Mustin, it's a name. But yeah, I do wonder if it's just the de de developers have some link to North Wales here. I wonder if it's, I wonder if it's inspired by Denby Mansion, uh, Denby uh, Asylum. You got the key to the front door of the mansion's gatehouse. Uh -huh, look at that, it's just been nailed into his back. Alright, well there we go, we've we've done we've done a thing already. Okay, I feel like have I have I been in there? Is this the room that I was just in? Yeah, I think so. Oh, oh. Yeah, this is where. I, oh. Okay, I see. Yeah, it, it, the pers sudden perspective change messed me up there. Like I, I felt like I was going. No, oh, no, that guy's coming back. Yeah, like how are you when you go through a door, you're seeing the wall from the other side. If that makes sense. So it kind of messed up my sense of direction. Oh, quick. Anyway, it doesn't matter. He's he's off. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go out here because apparently the undead can't stop going back in the door. She seems to have a problem with. I guess I guess you've got to close the door before you can go through it. I don't know. Uh, close the door before you can. Uh, Walk to the side or something. I, I don't know. I don't know what was happening there. Anyway, um, I keep missing where the run button is here. Oh, I see these ladies here. They don't look very friendly. They don't look very mobile either, so. A wax coloured crocus. Wax coloured with crocus, a useful ingredient in the production of spells. 
I'm gonna go the other way before I come out here. Just check the other end of this garden just in case there's something I've missed. Really love the look of this game. The lock's broken, okay. Uh, I feel like I also in here. Let me just. Oh. Oh. oh God! Oh, they saw me. Shh. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh no! No, don't open. Oh. Well, that was a mistake. I took a few exits. I just wanted to check the other, the end of the corridor. I mean, I'm guessing it just goes down here and then hits a wall, but I was just wondering if there was something there, you know? Can I just peek in? Okay, well, wait for him to go. No, I, I, I'm not getting the door thing here. It's... Right, okay, there we go. Right, let's just double check the end of this. Because uh, you never know. Uh, little things like this. There might be something missing. There's a lot of blood on the floor now. <laughs> okay, anyway. Close the door. And then we'll, we'll continue on. I just wanted to double check, or else that would have been lingering in the back of my mind for the rest of my life. You didn't check the end of that corridor. Oh, you never know what you've missed. Right, these two don't seem too scary. I mean, they seem to be reacting to my presence, but I don't seem to be able to interact with them. You'd think you'd go, oh, hiya. What's going on? There seems to be someone with a, with a hatchet trying to kill me. Do you, do you know anything about that? You girls there? Big Hat Logan, do you know anything? No? Okay. Oh, some lovely little children. Slightly stale chocolate cake, still delicious. 75 health. Yeah. You look lost. First time in the dream? I'm Becca. I'm afraid you've stumbled into something you probably shouldn't have. We're having a sort of celebration to welcome a new m member to our little club. You see, we're witches. Oh. In the dreary waking world, there's no magic. But here, let me have a sip of coffee here while we're reading this. Magic is real. I'm sure it's all terribly confusing. You need to go talk to the first witch. She's our lead. I don't know. I don't like the sound of this cult. This seems very culty. I don't know. You find it up ahead by the fireplace. Just answer any questions she has truthfully and I'm sure everything will be fine. Oh, and feel free to grab a slice of cake. I already did. Thank you, though. So, yeah, it's giving me sort of Suspiria sort of vibes here. It's <laughs> just walked. All right, all right, all right. I, I, I thought I was trying to talk to the other person. It just made me moonwalk up to... Uh, up to the, the first person I spoke to. You're not supposed to be here. Neither. Aren't you supposed to be in Silent Hill? Are you the patient here at Mostyn Private Asylum? I am, yes. Actually, thanks. Hmm. Did you come from the gatehouse? I don't know. I think. Was that the gatehouse I just came from? Hmm. You made it all the way here with no assistance. Well, I mean, there was there was notes and things that gave me assistance, but no one helped me, so... Liar! Oh, come on. I mean, I'd had assistance. Well, there you go. That was the withering rooms. Fine complete the prologue. Okay, I've, I've done it. I've done chapter one. Or chapter prologue, I suppose. Okay, well, I guess I don't have to, I, I don't have to redo that again. 
The pain of the flame subsides as Nightingale loses consciousness. She awakens in a strange bedroom within Mostyn House, still in a dream. All right. Oh, a nice meat cleaver. Oh, you get poised. This is very Souls-like, isn't it? Okay, how do I... Wow. Wow. Strike the mannequin, okay. Chop. 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 Hold heavy attack. Okay, I see. Yeah, I can do that. Dodge back. B whilst not moving. Hup. Roll. Yeah, I figured that bit out. Hello? I'm terribly sorry if I frightened you by just appearing like that. I like to observe new arrivals to make sure they're not violently deranged before allowing them out of their room. I'm Margaret Blackett, and I share administration of this asylum with my father, Dr. Robert Blackett. Your name is Nightingale, isn't it, Lee? <laughs> Let me first deeply apologise for you being set on fire as soon as you arrived here. That's all right, I suppose. <laughs> the, party, the responsible party has been severely reprimanded. You may be wondering if this is all a delusion. I can assure you it is not. You've been drawn into a phenomenon unique to Mostyn House. It's sort of a dream or nightmare. Weeks will pass here during a single night in the real world. I'm sure you have questions. I'll answer as best as I'm able. Oh, I mean, I just want to play the game. I don't like a lot of dialogue here. Come on. Um. Yeah, how do I get out of here? Okay. So how do I wake from the dream? Others are trapped indefinitely, with comatose bodies slowly rotting in the real world. Dying in the dream provides no release, you'll simply awake anew. Okay, oh god, I've got to go. As those trapped in the dream rot in the real world, they turn into deranged living corpses here. Unfortunately, the dream accumulates with such unpleasant residents each year. Okay. I'm really liking the world. Like, I think this is a really interesting scenario. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what about magic then? You used a spirit twig. By snapping the twig in my hand, I'm able to briefly move about as if I were a phantom. In the real world, magic is the provenance of charlatans. But remarkably, in the dream, magic is real. <coughs> I'll have to seek out the filthy wretch to learn more. The mansion reconfigures itself each night, but you should be able to find me in the study easily enough. Don't be discouraged if you die. Uh-huh. See you around. All right, bye. I guess she's gone now. All right, find the filthy wretch in the occult library. Yeah, I think this is a really cool scenario. When I read, I was reading the Steam page and it said about the rooms reconfiguring each night. I imagined it would be, like, randomised. I don't know if that's the case, actually. Okay. Okay, let's um, let's go have a wander around then. We'll do some sneaking. Oh, nice little alcove. I like that. Oh, there's a there's a person I don't want to speak to. Let's go in here then. Just seems like a... No, don't go... I, I, I hate the way when you try and move near a door, she automatically walks through it. I think that is... Probably my controller being weird. Darkness fell upon Pal 
Palermo. In the morning, the city had ten bakers, nine lawyers, and nine beggars. Then four beggars jumped to their deaths. Each year, next, each beggar sliced up one lawyer. So we had five beggars who sliced up one lawyer. So that would leave four lawyers. On the following day, four bakers shot themselves. So that would leave one baker. In Palem. So what what was that? what did I say it was? Ten bakers, four lawyers, and one beggar, I think. Welsh Country Houses, one. Mostyn House is situated on a hill in Monmouth between St. Ellie's Church and Brynbach Abbey ruins. It has a fascinating and tragic history. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. We'll leave, we'll leave that, thanks. Might have a, might have a look around now. Oh, creepy doll. Place to create a distraction or or draw attention to something. Okay, so that's like a. Okay. Let's get let's get out the door. Thank you. We'll we'll leave that guy to his own devices there. A blank piece of parchment, perfect for crafting a spell. Lovely. Oh, there's a toilet, yes. Let's, um... Priscilla, is that you? No, it's not. A charcoal potion heals any poison buildup. And we've got gauze as well. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh god, he's here now as well. Okay. Danger! Oh god. How do I use my... Uh, how do I use my items? I'm sure I had like... Maybe I don't have it. Can I use this? Must be bleeding, okay. Must be poisoned. I'm sure I picked up something in one of the dreams. What, where was that bit of cake I picked up? Delicious bit of cake. Do I not have that anymore? Did that get burnt up when I got murdered by that witch? Must be. Oh, look, I can change the graphics. I wanted to, I wanted to see what... What options there were. I guess it's on ultra quality. Uh, oh god, this guy's... Uh, oh! Oh god! God, he's, he's shooting. Oh, somebody... I think someone got shot accidentally there, almost. Oh god. Okay, so here's our mini-map. Uh, guess we haven't checked this room here. It's locked. Search the body. Here we go. Filthy finger of a living corpse. Oh, we get information on the enemies as well. That's cool. A cholera patient. I like the way you get little like RPG. Sh oh, fuck God. dead well as that witch said death is the best teacher yeah I didn't do enough stealthiness there I just sort of wandered around getting murdered by people huh. presents summons a lifelike dummy 
of the caster, which will attract enemy attention until it's destroyed. Okay, good. Ah, this is interesting. I don't know, like, I, I do wonder if it is random, randomised or whether it's just similar each time. You know, like, each time you die, does it just mix everything up? And give it a bit of a roguelike type of element to it. That would be quite cool to play through a few times, I think. A dislodged pipe, slow but good for giving an undead monster the severe beating it deserved. Um... Right. Oh, so do I lose the items that I pick up? No, because I keep the keys. So I don't know. Do I? It feels like I only lose some items. Is that right? Because I don't seem to have my cleaver anymore. Is that? Or do I? I mean, what's what's this in her hand? Oh, oh, damn it! I've used my spell. I didn't mean to use that. I was just trying to swing a weapon. Okay, well there, there we go. We've, we've created a we've created a thing. Um, there we go. Clonk. Can I hit my? No. There's a keyhole in the front. Yes. Nothing there. Okay. Okay then. Mmm, a scone. Very nice. You found a healing item. I don't know. Do I need one? Because I've just died. I feel like this tooltip isn't going to go away until I until I go into my start menu and use my thing, but... Oh, look at that! There's like... There's like a guy on the piano, but he's in the he's in the reflection. I like this. I think this is really... Alright, do I have to use my healing item? Because it's... It, that thing won't go away. Hey, my cake's there now! This is very strange. Like, I, um... I was looking for that before, and it wasn't there, I'm sure. Unless I, I just missed it. Anyway. Uh huh. Hello. I see you. I see you there. Let's hide because I didn't, didn't like the look of that. I'm a bit more wary of the people now uh, since they horribly murdered me last time. What does that candle mean there? I saw a little candle in the in the corner. All right. Let's just try sneaking. I don't know. I didn't. Oh God! Oh, he is there. He is there. Okay. Uh, and who's this coming now? Yeah, okay. Let's, uh, let's close that door and get out of here. Oh, it's, it's quite scary. Give me, 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 me jump that did. Yeah, you see this. Can we sneak past the bed without waking daddy? Oh. Hide. Hide. The cholera patients awoken. I like this. I'm liking this game so far. I might do a stream of this on uh, Twitch. Oh, there's something there. Read Palmer A. Hatred consumed Palmer. In the beginning, this city had seven barbers, seven painters, and nine bishops. I feel like I need to remember all of this stuff, but... I'm, I'm, maybe that... I think that must be in my menu somewhere. Okay. That is... Right, okay, so I... In the beginning, the city had seven barbers, seven painters, and nine bishops. So four bishops hang themselves, leaving five. So then five but bishops butchered a painter. So that would leave two painters. Next, two barbers jumped to their deaths, leaving five. So five 
to 525. Yeah, I must have missed this last time. I did look at the puzzle, but I thought one of the numbers was 10. And I thought, well, these don't go up to 10, so I don't know what the number is. But um, I must have been mistaken. 525, if that's right. Yeah, there we go. Key to the Occult Library. Finally. Peter has spent a fortune on these silly old books about how to summon demons. Yep, yep, I get it. I get it. It's fine. An empty jar. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I think this game's really cool so far. It's got a nice creepy atmosphere to it. It's got a very unique look to it, you know. That's something that I'm looking for in horror games is it's just a unique st Oh, no, don't don't please. Just a unique style. Like so many horror games I play just feel like I'm playing the same thing just with slightly different mechanics each time. This I don't know, it's got a lot of standard horror elements in like puzzles and keys and all that and Ah oh, yeah, I see you. I'm not going in there. That guy that guy's not a friendly guy. That guy's got no chill, as the kids say. Okay, there's a cholera guy here. I'm not gonna bother with him, he's just a bit, we've got a bit of a cough, but that's fine. Rinse, read Ponce's Chest one. Thank you for your purchase of Ponce's Chess, a unique and exciting take on the classic game of chess. As perception, perception increases, the unit can see spirits from a further distance. Uh huh. Okay. Another creepy doll. I think that's like a. You can. Oh. Oh. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I, I keep trying to hide. I, I know. I know that. No, oh, come on, run. Run, you fool. No. Oh, God. Right. I should I should assign some of these healing items to uh let's eat some of this cake. What, what what's my health like? Oh yeah, yeah. How do I use it? Maybe I can't use it when I'm hiding. Um assign shortcut left button, okay. And then, hey, where did my where did my items go? I assigned items here. I, you saw me do that. Hold on, I see X. There we there we are. Aha. Uh -huh. And there, uh, there, my health is back. Good. I don't like the look of that statue there. Let's um let's close this door just in case they sneak back out that way. And some red wax, okay. Oh, this looks... I think this is a safe room because of the the symbol above the door. No, stop. I, I, I do that way too much. Mm, sit. Another thing of Ponza's chest. Yeah, okay, I get this. It's standard stuff, isn't it? Ah, hello. Block it again. Uh, let me give you a little gift. This is an old ring of mine. If you die in a dream, you lose most of your items, but some items like this ring will survive from night to I see. Okay. Well, that's strange. I don't get why I kept that cake from the first night and then it wasn't there the second night or something weird like that. Oh, no. Come on. I don't want to. <sighs> Fine. I've, I heard this. You told me this before, didn't you? 
I've heard of Sebastian Beck. Yeah, I think so. Oh. Yeah, I, th I feel like when I'm recording a game or streaming a game, my patience for things like this are way lower. Like, if I was sitting here playing a game on my own, I feel like I would just sit and read this quite happily. When I'm recording, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like, ah. Yeah, there's nothing. Nothing. I'm, I'm sure I'll figure it out. I don't need your help, Margaret. Thank you. I'll come, I'll come back another time, maybe. Ask you some questions. If I, if I get lost, yeah? A gnarled magic, magic twig. Okay, so that seemed like it was a useful item. Um, just got to find it in my items here. Here, this tool. Um, yeah, I guess. We'll, we'll get this doll thing as well. That looks like it might be interesting. Bank. I haven't really done much... Uh, Fighting in this game. Here we go. Welsh country houses. Alfred Mostyn of Lancaster was born of modest means. He managed to build a coal mining empire after he was bequeathed a small plot in southeast Wales by his uncle. Okay, so it's southeast Wales, southeast. I was wondering if it was like the north. Um. Yeah. Okay, that's that's good. That's good to know. Uh-huh. Oh, you're there, are you? So that's you, is it? Oh. Uh, don't give me away, painting. Come on. It's like in boots. Like, oh, she's down there. I don't know where that woman went. Come on. Lumber past. Oh, oh, oh. God, I thought she'd caught me there. <laughs> I mean, I'm really, I'm really liking the style of this game. I think it's really cool. I think the the whole idea of it, the the world is really like unique. It's just not, it's not your typical horror game, is it? Really, really, I think this is really cool. Peak. Ah, well, there's the occult library. Okay, well, maybe we can find a filthy wretch in here. A holy candle gradually heals curse damage the longer one stays close to it, the faster it heals. Interesting. A table for pressing wax. Okay, well, I'm guessing there's so much stuff in this game that I feel like I need to learn. Ah. The Night Mother remembers. We are her bricks and blood is her mortar. Right. Um, the enigmatic Miles Craden. Research into the unexplained gave us the following five fundamental traits of spirits. Typically confined to a room in which they died, cannot be harmed or manipulated through physical mechanisms, have been known to assail a living, sometimes causing paralysis, uh huh. Visible only in mirrors. Oh, that must be what I saw before. Yeah, interesting. Okay, I'm guessing this guy's this filthy wretch I'm looking for. Oh, a new visitor. I don't have a name exactly, but most folks around here call me the filthy wretch. Let me have a sip of coffee here. I think in one of my previous videos, I was drinking coffee throughout, and uh, someone thought I was like sniffing. Like I had a cold. Okay. Uh -huh. He wants to be, me to be a student of him. Before we get started, I have one small request that you might find a bit off-putting. I'd like you to bring me a corrupted finger, freshly clipped from one of the undead. <laughs> yeah. 
I feel like I got one, didn't I? Uh, no, I haven't. Okay. Alright, we've got a quest. A feeling a snip a finger off a off a dead Oh, I keep doing that wrong. Yeah. Snip a finger off a off a dead. Off a dead person. And do some sneaking while we're at it. Um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Photographing a spirit will capture it, leaving behind cursed energy on the floor. Mm. Uh, the marble gallery. Let's, let's have a look in here. I think, I think this is. I think if it's got that white every time, it really needs to. Right, I'm pressing left there. See, I don't know. I feel like it's my controller being weird again. <laughs> Hi, hello. Masked man. Spectacular, isn't it? That's that picture of the saint. I can't. Is it Saint Sebastian? I can't remember which saint it is who flayed off, who had his skin flayed off, and sort of wore it like a, like a, like a wrap around himself. Good evening. I'd introduce myself, but some people don't generally wear masks if they want their. I don't even know if there is a saint called Sebastian. It's just what came to mind for some reason. I saw something weird behind his mask then for a second. I've been here for so long I can scarcely remember who I was previously anyway. Okay. Oh, he's a merchant. Oh, what good is gold in this nightmare? A coin is a favour saved for later. Alright, so what can we buy off this guy? Oh, all sorts. Mm, green herbs, classic. Burnt ring. Receive 50% less fire damage. Hmm. Converts 25% of physical damage to poison buildup for... That looks like a good thing. I wouldn't mind one of them, to be honest. I don't think I've got... What, three coins? Okay, so I can only afford a few things from this guy, but... Uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll save my money, to be honest. I, uh... Oh. Okay, um, you now have an equipable item. I think I'll... Yeah, there we go. Cool. Every time I do this, I, I, I don't know, there's, some, there's something weird with... Oh, hello. How did you come out of that door? Um, let's... Uh... Oh, there we go. Ah, see? I'm gone. Where am I, eh? Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I thought it would last a bit longer than that. Okay, fine. Ooh. Let's, uh... There was a couple... There was a room somewhere along here which had... Right. Oh, no. So, see, I, I, there was a corpse sleeping in that door, wasn't there? Defo. 
Defo, mate. Oh, get, get out of there, you fuck. Go on. Jesus. Oh. Oh. You've reached your curse tolerance. Okay. Oh, I don't know what happened there. I just backed out the door again. That was, that was weird. Right, I think I need to... You are nearly dead. Use your healing items immediately. I don't know what happened there. I must have... I think I used too much magic and killed myself. I don't know. Curse, right? I wasn't really paying attention. I, di I died somehow. Right, okay. So... Yeah, I don't know. My controller seems to be making my character duck constantly. It's just weird. Um, plus 20% melee. Uh... I may as well equip every ring I find, eh? Yeah, why not? She agrees. Look at her nodding. Yep, yep. Oh, nice! Okay, so this this will definitely come in handy for chopping a few uh, corpses to death, I suppose. Let's let's just go for it. Let's go. Let's try. Let's try a bit more of a proactive approach here to getting corpse fingers. Yeah, I can. I can. I keep forgetting I've got that roll. Um, maybe not you though, because uh, you look a bit big. I'll, I'll, I'll leave you to it. I'll leave you to it. Yeah. No, study is not. I mean, study might be good just to have a look. Oh, not you again, huh? Not you again. Come on, I'm I'm looking for interesting items here. Um, yes, yes, yes. There's a bit more. Mm-hmm. Ah, Merthyr Tidville. Yeah, that's a place I've heard of. Oh yeah, I'm liking all these Welsh places. Um, right. Oh yeah. Lord Mostyn, you ought to be pleased. <laughs> creepy, isn't it? Yeah, very creepy. Hey, this is what I need, I think. There we go. A bit more proactive, eh? And we've got a corrupted finger. Good. Good, good, good. Some more twigs. Got another candle. Yeah, so I'm a bit wary about using those twigs now. Uh, I yeah, seem to. Oh, hello. Hello, don't mind me. I'm just going this way. Don't mean no bother. Got myself some more coins. Good. Ah, here we go. Occult library. Yeah, I've got your finger, mate. You want fingers? I've got fingers. Yes, I found a corrupted finger. Now what I'd like you to do is eat the finger. Oh, great. <laughs> Just kidding. 
Such body parts are valuable commodities used with many uses in the dream, as in life. You see the stone shrine in this room? A curious ancient thing. Place the finger into its basin to activate it. It will help you remember items you might otherwise have forgotten each night. Ah, so it's like an item box, kind of like in Resident Evil. Just as no two people are alike, so are the shrines. Each one re will require a different offering to activate. I see, okay. Uh huh. So I can inspect. Uh huh. Plus one item remembrance slot. Manage your remembered items. Um. I mean, this axe is quite good, isn't it? We'll remember this axe, yeah? Our next lesson will be the casting of spells. You may be sceptical about the existence of magic in the real world. Yep, yep, yep. We're in a dream. Hold this blue scroll, focus your attention on the seal, and imagine it breaking while you wave your hand over it. Um, right. There is a price, however. Using magic will cause one to become slightly... Cur this must be what happened to me earlier. So, um, greying of the skin, an increased awareness of paranormal activity, um, strange and horrific sights previously hidden will reveal themselves. Okay, so if you exceed your cursed limit, you, you start to rot. Uh -huh, okay, so that's what I did before when I randomly just died and got cursed. So it did pop up on the screen, but I was just skipping through, wasn't really paying attention. Right, okay. Let's, uh... I guess we've got a, a ring now, have we? Yeah. Oh, I just do that. Okay, I get you. Yeah. You need a grimoire to cast cast your own spells. Um, oh, I got a beginner's grimoire. Uh huh. All right. Let's uh. Let's go craft a spell in the library then. Okay, so place we can place a hex upon a door. Anyone who opens it will become engulfed, engulfed by a glass. Cl I can't speak. Anyway, something to do with doors. Something comes through it. It's like a trap, basically. The armor spell, which uh, I don't have any blue wax for. Or the dummy spell, summons a lifelike dummy of the caster, which is that one that I had before. Um, well, I guess this one sounds quite cool. I mean, why not craft both of them, eh? Uh, probably because it, it's a waste. Okay. I've done it. I've done it, sir. I've taught you everything I can from now. Now let me show you why they call me the filthy wretch. Okay. I'm not talking to that first witch again. She didn't seem nice. Uh huh. In the basement is not somewhere you want to be without a light. Oh, oh, he's gone as well. All right. Well, this is cool, but I think um, that might be a good place to end the episode. I've been playing for an hour, so I must enjoy this game. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I may, might play this on a stream sometime. This seems fun. I'm kind of intrigued by where it goes. I really, really like the setting and the style of this game. So I hope you enjoyed looking at that. I'll uh, put a link to the Steam page down below if you want to check it out for yourself. I think it's on consoles as well, but I'm not 100%. Anyway, this is Withering, Withering Rooms. Really cool game. Yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.